Welcome in, guys, and welcome to episode 16 of Paper Mario Dark Star Edition. It's been a little while since I've played this game, and I'm super excited to be back. I'm loving it so far. It's definitely... As someone who's played Paper Mario many times, it's very nice to play an updated version that's changed. So it's definitely up my alley. After going through a couple chapters now, it's... I can say it's pretty, pretty good, pretty good ROM hack. We made it through chapter two last episode after doing a whole bunch of side questing. So at this point, I think we're about ready to uh, head into chapter three since we kind of did all the post chapter two stuff before we beat chapter two. I don't know if they changed anything for the Peach segments. Before I get too into the video, though, I want to give a shout out to T Dog, who is a viewer who's been leaving comments on the Let's Play. Thank you, T Dog, for for watching. You're the first person to uh, like consistently watch and and leave comments. So, big shout out to T Dog. I don't expect anything to be changed here, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go. <clears throat> I uh, I don't know what to expect about the badges in this area. I kind of feel like they're going to be vanilla, but you never know. You never know. It's uh, the last day of February for me. For you guys, it's like sometime in April. I don't know how long this series is going to be. And also, man, we're lucky there was no guard in front of that door. Imagine the entire game falling apart just because they put one guard <laughs> in front of the door that they should have put a guard in front of anyway. Since that's where they found Peach last time. Alright, let's see. This is where one of the badges... Oh, God! Oh, no. Don't see me. Okay, okay, alright. We made it past. Okay. Power rush. Cool. I don't particularly want to get caught. So I'm just gonna do this all sly like. Okay. Alright. Oh my god. That's tight. Okay. Almost. So close. And we made it. And then. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Because there are two badges that you can get, but I don't know if one of them I have to get later or what. It's not the room. But we'll take everything we can get because this is a bit of a difficult hack. It's like a moderate hack at this point. And yeah, they're the same badges. They're vanilla. Nothing new here. If you know Paper Mario, you'll probably know that this is where we send off the badges, which can be easily missed. You can miss these until the very end of the game. I don't think you can actually miss anything in the game. I always found the badge shop in Thousand Year Door to be a little odd, because I I feel like badges in Paper Mario are kind of akin to like heart pieces in Zelda, where you can't miss them. Like all of the collectibles in Zelda you just can't miss. Ooh, that was good. Alright. Oh my god, this is fantastic. We're doing amazing right now. Alright. Success. Oh, what is that? That's like a jam and jelly, but it's silver? Hey, have you heard about Master Tubble Blubba? I heard a rumor that he loves eating ghosts. Ah, uh, ghosts, huh? Master Tubba Blubba. He lives deep inside a forever forest, doesn't he? I think he's guarding one of the star spirits right now. Yeah, Master Tubba Blubba lives in the castle at the top of Ghosty Gulch. I heard that somewhere near his castle is a mansion and a village full of ghosts. I guess Master Tubba Blubba sometimes goes there to catch booze. And then when he catches one, he gobbles it down, starting with its head. Does a boo have a head? Er, oh man, that's so scary. Now I won't be able to walk to the bathroom alone at night. And I'm gonna have nightmares, I know it. Why'd you tell me? 
I also heard that Master Tubba Blubba is invincible. They say he can't be hurt. Nobody could even scratch him. He might even be stronger than King Bowser. Stronger than King Bowser? Come on, that's impossible. Even Master Tubba Blubba has, has to have some weak points. It's just common sense. Yeah, you may be right. There's another rumor that Tubba Blubba's got a secret that would ruin him if it ever got out. I bet it's about his past. I heard he didn't used to be strong at all. What if Tubba Blubba hears you? He might gobble us up. Still, what do you think his secret could be anyway? I don't know. No one knows. That's why it's a secret, you half-wit. Twink, it sounds like Tubba Blubba is a weak point after all. If only we could find out. Huh? Hey, did you hear something? Someone talking right now? You think someone knows we're goofing off in here? Oh, whoa! Princess Peach, how'd you get in here? I'm sorry to do this, but you have to go back to your room right now. Oh, no! <laughs> what is that? That's like a silver jam and jelly. I wonder what that does. Alright. Bowser is kind of like the head chimp. He's just like the strongest person. Not person, he's a turtle. Strongest turtle. He's the head turtle of the turtle clan. <laughs> Thank you, Mario. As long as I can head home to Starhaven. At last, I read that completely wrong. My name is Mamar. So nice to meet you in person. You're still, you've still got a long way to go, but I just know you can save Princess Peach. I'll do my best to help you. Here's a present for you. Mario's star power goes up by two. All right, we have Lullaby now. I'm wondering if Lullaby is good against the blooper. Does it work? Because if it does, that could change the whole game for us. Also, having that extra star power is nice. I don't remember what my strategy was exactly with the blooper. But you know what I do know? We're heading back to Toad Town. That's what I know. Oh boy, and we're avoiding all the enemies that we can. Oh my god. So many enemies. Ah, that's the edge of the world. Okay. It's kind of odd, but I like how it's broken up into squares. Right? Like... Technically, this is like, what, an octagon or something, but I just like, I like how it is. I like that we're on just like this random ass plane. I feel like it adds to the paper effect in a way. All right, let's slowly meander our way back home. Through the desert, across the bridge, again. Once more with feeling. I don't think there's anything else left on the way, either. Because we already got everything. So we'll head back, and we'll go to the blooper first, before we attempt Chapter 3. And uh, see if our new ability can do anything new for us. Where are my items at? Decent. We have decent items. We'll avoid all those. I remember chapter three, so I watched a streamer play this game a little bit, just just really briefly, in chapter three, and he was fighting the boss, and uh, it really gave him a lot of trouble. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope that that doesn't happen here. I haven't really had too many problems yet, as far as uh, not being able to progress. The blooper was tough, but I also tried to do that early. And then the boss... Both of the bosses were kind of tough. And there was that bob bomb in the first chapter. But so far it's been, like, you know, smooth sailing enough. We might have to use the pig game later. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if we will yet or not, but definitely a possibility. Toad Town, Toad Town. All right, let's go. We might as well just go straight to the blooper. Did, was I using Goombario before? I think I was using Goombario. Right? So I wasn't using... Wrong button. I wasn't using uh, Cooper, that's for sure. Bombette. There's Parcary and Goombario. I feel like it makes the most sense 
to use Gumbario. Yeah, we'll stick with that badge setup. We'll save. And then, yeah, let's, let's try this blooper again. Once with Mamar. And the fast travel would be very nice. <laughs> Especially for side quests. Okay, so we're going to tattle with you, of course. And he has 70 HP, I believe. Or she has. Whichever one. I think it is she. Um, but yeah. I'm going to just see this lullaby work. We'll do it twice if it doesn't work the first time. And just see. Because I know there's a certain likelihood that it'll work. Oh, it worked. It worked. Okay. We're in business here. We're in business. That must have been the intended way to beat this. What? What do you mean he's attacking? Oh, I hit it. Fuck. That's right. That's so useless. Lullaby is so useless. Okay. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do a, a reset. Because that is just the most useless ability I I completely spaced out that hitting it would wake it up makes some sense right but you know what it's not helpful to us so let us see if having like two refreshes <laughs> does the trick we have to hope for a good shrink stomp okay we got a good shrink stomp and then tattle of course and then uh yeah just head bonk Cool. Okay. So far, we're doing really well. So far, we're doing really well. We'll power jump. Okay. And head bonk. It's at 55. It has its full ability now. Okay. Four damage. It's not too bad. We'll, uh, we'll refresh. Should we refresh? You, you know what? Why not? Why not? It's been doing, like, four damage. Why not refresh? Probably should have used Shrink Stomp there, actually. That probably would have been the move. But you, you know, you don't know if that's going to work, so. Okay. So this will just kill me, I believe. Or it'll take me down to, like, 1 HP. So. I guess. All I can do is focus. Right? That's kind of all we can do at this point. And then gonna attack me 13 okay and then the okay it's not all gone um well I could use this so I made a couple mistakes I forgot that I could jump on the blooper as Mario with zap tap you can do literally nothing you know what I'll charge why not Wait a sec. Plus five? What? Plus five? Oh boy, okay. Do I have a heart? I don't think I do. I don't. Okay, we're going to try that again. But we're going to do it a little differently. I'm going to use Shrink Stomp more. I did not realize that that added plus five. That's kind of crazy. But I, I feel like we can beat the blooper now. I feel like we have enough ammo to beat this blooper. So, here's what we'll do. We'll head bonk. We'll shrink stomp and hope for a working shrink stomp. Okay, we got it. Nice. Okay. 
That worked well. We will... Okay, so we could refresh, or we could power jump. We're going to power jump. Or you know what? I wonder if I could just, like, eternally shrink stomp. I can't because of the FP, actually. But you know what? That The jump works. The jump works. And we got our heart back. And then we can just do a normal jump. Okay. So now it's going to just drop on me. And it's going to do four damage. I'm going to shrink stomp this thing. It didn't work that time. But that's okay. Can't win every time. Okay, it's going to do its shock thing. And I basically have, like, one thing I can do. Oh, I have nothing I can do. Okay. Because I don't have... Okay, then. All right. Well, uh, I guess I'll refresh. And then we'll shrink stop next time. I guess I need to save some FP. All right. So, all you can do is this. But at least we can focus with Gumbario instead of just doing nothing at all. Survive that. And shrink stomp. Shrink stomp it is. It worked. But now I don't have any life. That's a bit of a problem. So I have to hope to get lucky then? Do I even have close call on? I don't even think I have close call at all. Five. No! <laughs> I could have blocked it. Okay, so that's going to be my ticket though. God, this is... This is such a tough battle. I just want to beat this so bad. I believe... I believe I can do it. It's just a matter of having the turns. Okay. So I know what I want to do. I know exactly what I want to do. I want to shrink stomp first. And then I want to tattle. And then I want to head bonk. I'm getting so lucky that this blooper is not using ink on me. Okay, so if I block that properly, it only does one damage. So, here's what I want to do. I want to leave four at all times. So we're going to power jump. And then head bonk. And now it's at 55. So this is kind of where I am every time. Oh. Oh, not good. But you know what? That's fine. It did a lot more damage than I would hope. But we have refresh. So it's all okay. And then Goombario can still head bonk, so we'll do it at least four damage this turn. Go down to 51. And then it's going to do its electrical thing. So Goombario is literally just, just a focuser at this point. So we'll... Uh, I have to shrink stomp. I just have to hope this works. Oh, it did! Oh my god, okay. That was lucky, man. And all you can do is focus, so we'll just focus every turn. And that cuts up down our damage a lot. Oh my god. Five damage. Okay. We're gonna... I guess refresh? I guess we'll refresh. Are we just gonna put this in a cycle of refresh and attack and refresh and attack? We might. We might. But that's not even gonna do it. Because the, the electricity never goes away. Okay. You know what? I think we're going to pass on this for now. I'll wait. I'll wait. It was uh, another failed attempt. Man, that is a really 
really hard boss. But that's okay. We have other stuff we can do. We'll go to chapter three. Well, we probably should have done it first. Anyway. Ah! Burr. Just now, a ghost passed right in front of me. You saw it, didn't you? Yeah, we saw it. I'm not the only one. Over there. No, no, the other way. It went into the forest. Mario, this madness has to end. Will you go into the forest and see what's going on? I'm ashamed to say it's my job, but I just can't go. I'm too frightened of ghosts. Please, I'm begging you. Alright, let's do it. Let's instantly follow the ghost. Man, I love the way the save blocks look. I like how they change their color. Pardon me, sir. Would you happen to be Mario? How do you do, sir? My master wishes to see you. If you would, please call on us at the mansion on the far side of Forever Forest. My master would also like me to add that she has in her possession important news regarding the Sar Spirits. Please make haste. We shall await your arrival with a warm welcome. And if you don't come, we'll get you, boo. Alright. And it's chapter three. All right. Oh. Oh, okay, this is it. The way you tell how to go, or which direction to go, is uh, whichever direction has like something odd next to it. This is Forever Forest. The path ahead of here is extremely dangerous. Didn't you know that? You better go back. Yeah, I probably should go back. No, we're not going back. Um, okay, so that's your story. You're invited to Boo's Mansion. You may pass, then. Listen carefully. If you want to get through this forest, you have to pay really close attention to your surroundings. If you choose the wrong paths, you'll end up back at the forest edge before you know it. The areas around the correct paths will always look slightly different from the others. Watch carefully for clues. For example, in this area, take a good look at the inner trees as you walk around. In one of them, you'll spot a strange glowing eyes... The exit near that tree is the path you want to take. These clues will be different in other parts of the forest. Watch the inner forest very, very carefully as you go. Yeah. There's something different about every one of them. Oh, God. And I do not want to get in this battle. But you know what? That's okay. Because we can tattle enemies and get XP. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I like how you can tattle multiple times in one turn. Definitely an improvement. Okay, so we're just going to go straight after the Lazy Daisy, of course. That's the danger. The other ones are just going to get zapped. It kind of looked like its health bar filled up. Yeah, why is it doing that? Filled up its health. Woo. All right. Yeah, so this, this these enemies are extremely easy then. Literally zero risk. Where am I at right now as far as a level up? Got three, four star points here. 70? That's pretty good. So we, uh... We only need, what? This, I'm at five. So like 25 more after this battle? No, less than that. Twenty-three. Ah, there we go. There's one path that's hard to find. I think it's out of this area. This is the... Oh, this is this guy. Okay. So, this obviously is different. But there are... There's a magic bean, or whatever you call that. <laughs> whatever the... Or the flower seed, rather, not a magic bean. It says in Zelda. Which is here. But yeah, I don't know if you can get this yet. Oh yeah, we can get it. Okay. But there's also a badge. There's a badge somewhere. 
I don't think it's through this door. I think it's maybe through one of these. It's kind of just a random area that you wouldn't expect. So this is the way here. And then this should lead us to like the final ring. Maybe not. Maybe not. This is the final ring? No? Oh, wow. Okay. Still going. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So I missed the badge. I remember it's kind of tricky to find. But I don't think I'm going to care too much about it right now. I'm not sure that we even need it. Hey, we made it, Mario. We got out of the forest. It's about time. Say, don't you think that's the mansion the old Boo was talking about? Well, uh, gee willikers, you Mario, I think it might be. I think there's a big mansion in the in the forest. I think that's it. Out of all the mansions in the forest, this, this must be the one. Welcome, sirs and madam. I'm pleased you made it through Forever Forest. My master awaits you in the room highest up in this lovely mansion. Please go to the third floor. There you will hear all the news of the Star Spirits. I'll see you there. I always, as a kid, I thought those doors looked like chocolate bars. <laughs> Don't they kind of look like Hershey bars? Alright. So... Since we're about at the end of the video, I'm going to cut it here. I hope you all had a good time, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and leave a comment. And peace out.